and now we're going to start putting it back together. And we have the bridge rectifier, we put it back in place down into the housing. That snaps right down in there. And then the first thing we do, we take our, sh our screws with the shorter insulators that went in on this side. We have two screws and we put those down in there. And I don't tighten them up completely at first. I just want to get them all started. And then now we're going to take our two non-insulated one, well one of them put it up in here and then we want to install our capacitor. Now I talked before that this capacitor was broken, this bottom insulator piece comes off it shouldn't come off but it's not a total loss, we still can use it I don't have another one of these so I'm just going to have to make sure I put it in there properly and so the uh, capacitor goes back in here first and the insulating part has to sit on top of this boss and then this is where we use the longer insulated piece in here and then on the top side we use the uninsulated battery stud and we get that started in there you see and I'm gonna make sure I run this get these oops using a different socket I'm gonna run these down in here and I see my insulator starting to come out so this is where I gotta be careful if I have this insulator wanting to come out, I'm going to get that snapped up in place and lined up where I want it. Get it put in place. And then tighten this down. Now what I did was, when I lined that insulator up, I made sure that this piece here, this hole, is exactly lined up with the other hole so my insulator piece will go through and now it's clamped down and it's very tight and we want to make sure we the other two have different type bolts now we're going to tighten up these other two and we're going to go through and double check to make sure that I have these properly tightened down all right now in this case we're going to be reusing the voltage regulator. We knew this voltage regulator is a good voltage regulator. It's a heavy duty voltage regulator uh, and the brushes uh, are still long. This alternator is really not that old. It just actually uh, was used very hard and it blew the uh, bridge rectifier out so we're now replacing it. So now to put this brush holder back together what we do is we take our springs, we shove our springs down back down into their holes and then we put the brush back in over the top of the spring and we push it down in now you notice there's a hole right here in the side of the brush holder and we put a pin, you can use a toothpick or any sort of little wire and that holds that brush down in there slide out of the way a little bit and we take our other spring and slide it down into the brush holder and then put the other brush in on top of it and then we push that pin all the way through that brush holder assembly next step is to make sure that these wires for the brushes are pushed down and back and that everything is all inspected in good condition. Uh, if you were to change the voltage regulator this little spade connector plugged in is uh, soldered, a little bit of solder, you'd have to unsolder here, unsolder here, then you could pull the brush holder off and then plug it onto a new voltage regulator but we know this voltage regulator is good so we're going to reuse it. And now what I do is I push this pin through, far through because now this pin is going to go in this little hole that's down inside of the housing when we assemble this back in here, that pin is going to protrude through out the back side of the alternator. We'll be removing that pin later and that allows the brushes then to jump in place. And now we're going to finish putting this in. A short little screw goes in the brush holder and this is a non-insulated screw going down into there. And then the other screw for the brush holder, we inspect this, make sure it's not broke through or anything. Now that's going to go through here and we make sure that fits through there nicely. And uh, now we're going to screw those back together. I'm using a speed wrench to speed things up. I don't tighten them totally until I'm sure everything's settled in. That's settled in. That's settled in. There we go. Now we've completely replaced the bridge rectifier. The next step then is to put the stator back in. Before I do that though, because we're going to be reassembling this, I am going to put just a touch of grease in this bearing. It's a very, very small amount. This has to be a high temperature wheel bearing type grease. 
and you really don't want very much in there. If you get too much in there, it'll sling out and sling all over the brushes and make a real mess. Uh, you'll lose contact. Next step is to install the stator. Now, first thing we're going to do is look at the stator and make sure it's in real good condition. This one's really not that old and it's in very good condition. So we're going to install that in here now and push that back in and then install the nuts that hold the stator in. You want to make sure these are good and tight. Well, you want to make sure these are tight. If you get a loose electrical connection here, and you have to watch it, you want to make sure these tight enough. They're as tight as you can get them without stripping the screws out. You have to be cautious of stripping those screws out. Now I'm going to push that toothpick or wire way back in on that brush holder so it doesn't hit on anything, because now actually I'm ready to assemble this alternator back together. We're not going to be doing bearings in this. That'll be another show. This was just about uh, replacing the bridge rectifier in the alternator, and you could really use this for replacing the regulator. Now we have our front assembly. The thing we're going to be working on with this, we're going to double check our our rotor to make sure our rotor is good. And to do this you use a, a, a multimeter and you can set it up for an ohms uh, and uh, what you're doing is checking continuity across this point, these slip rings. There's two slip rings under your brushes right on. This uh, rotor coil is actually just a coil of wire one wire runs up to one slip ring, one wire runs up to the other slip ring, so that has to be a complete circuit when you touch that. And of course we do, and what we're doing is uh, checking the, the rotor here. Now what I'm doing is checking the slip rings. These are in really good condition, they're smooth. Like I said, this alternator is not that old. It would just work like crazy and blew out the bridge rectifier. And uh, what we want to do though now is clean up this connection where the brushes are going to be riding on that. And what you can do is you can stick yourself a real piece of, a piece of uh, 320 grit some nice fine, you can grip it on there and just turn this back and forth, sanding, cleaning up that uh, little slip rings, clean up that copper area to make good brush contact. We want to make sure that's nice and cleaned up, turn it back and forth. There we go. And now we take a rag and clean this off real good. And get any there. Now you see we have the slip rings cleaned up real nicely. Now we're actually ready to assemble this alternator back together. And remember before we had our our little punch marks or our little uh, dots that we put in here. So now again make sure we look around we find our dot and we line up dot to dot. Uh, because as I said this can go back together in several different ways. So what we're going to do is just slide that out and on there. And once that goes down in, that's it. It goes all it should the stator should snap into the front housing and the back housing evenly. And then now we're going to just put our four through bolts back in. And uh, when you're tightening up your through bolts, you want to make sure you use an even uh, crisscross pattern. Uh, first tightening one bolt. And first you want to, I'll use a speed wrench here to get us down closer. And I don't go all the way down with the speed wrench. I'll just uh, get them almost down. Almost down. Now very carefully start to go back and forth from side to side, one side then the other. You gotta make sure it goes down evenly. If it doesn't go down evenly, uh, you'll you'll break the case. So I want to check these. Make sure it's even. They go crisscross, across, then the next one, and the next one, and there. And now, now we put it back together. You want to make sure. Well, before you spin it, really, you want to pull your pin. Now, we're going to pull our pin, and that's going to allow the brushes to seat on. And we felt those go down, and now we're going to carefully turn it around, set it up, and give it a little spin to make sure we don't uh, feel any rubbing in there. And we don't feel any rubbing. And this alternator has had the new bridge rectifier put in it, and it's ready to go back on the vehicle.